I live in Spain, so I teach a lot of Spanish students. And one of the biggest problems I see is in syntax. Syntax is how you arrange a sentence. In Spanish, it's very easy to arrange a sentence as long as your verbs have a lot of information. So, for example, you can say, um, fui at a la tienda con mis amigos. Or you could say, con mis amigos fui a la tienda. Or you can say, a la tienda fui con mis amigos. All of those are correct, at least grammatically. You will have a common way of saying it, but all of those, again, are correct grammatically. But in English, you can't do that. The reason is, is that our verbs don't have much information. In the present tense, for example, you only have the S in the third person. Bob goes to the store. The rest, I go, you go, we go, they go, no information. So the structure is really important. So let's take a sentence that you would normally say in Spanish, um, fui a la tienda con mis amigos, and turn that into English. I went to the store with my friends. Now, could you say, fui con mis amigos a la tienda? No. Why? Well, because the object of went is where you went, to the store. The object of a verb has to follow the verb. You can't put stuff between that. You can't put time expressions between that. The same thing is you can't say, I, I was for three weeks in London. Now, it's all right in Spanish, but it's not all right in English because the object of where you were is London. I was in London for three weeks, or three days, I forget what I said. At any rate, when you construct a sentence, always remember that your object comes after your verb always. It's a rule. Any time expressions or any extra prepositional phrases go at the end of a sentence. Also be careful. I saw the man on the corner with the dog is not the same thing as I saw the man with the dog on the corner. In the first one, the dog belongs to the corner, and in the second one, the dog belongs to the man. So be careful and put your objects after, uh, sorry, put your, yes, put your main object after the verb. Don't put anything between the verb and its object. 